All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Fallout New Vegas unique item guide video. And today we are here to check out. All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Fallout New Vegas unique item guide video. And today we are here to check out the X2 antenna. Now you get this weapon from the Old World Blues DLC. And basically all you have to do is follow along the main quest and eventually you will come upon this. It's not too far in it. So yeah, you should be able to get it almost right away. So let's take a look at the weapon. So it is some kind of advanced antenna. It looks more like a Tesla coil than anything. But since, you know, the, the empty, the big mountain, has all this advanced technology, it's supposed to be advanced. Man, look at the... Surprised we were able to use this with how thick that is at the bottom. Alright, so let me try and get this in a good view. There, I think that would be good. So let me read off the stats for you guys here. So you need 75 in melee weapons. You need a strength of 7. The damage is 65. Its DPS is 70.4. Its critical damage is 23. Its crit multiplier is times 1. Its attacks per second is 1.1. And to use this weapon in VATS, it's going to cost you 22 AP. Now the X2 antenna has an effect. You get plus 50 damage against robots. Plus 20 damage against power armor, except for NCR power armor. Because they take out the servos or whatever, that way you don't need power armor training. It weighs 15 pounds, its value is 6,000, its HP is 125. And the perks that affect this weapon are Heavy Handed, Bloody Mess, Lord Death, Thought You Died, Slayer, and Melee Hacker. So what Heavy Handed does is it gives you plus 20% damage to melee and unarmed only. However, you get a penalty of minus 60% critical damage to melee and unarmed only. Bloody Mess, which gives you plus 5 damage with all weapons, and enemies can explode upon death. Lord Death at rank 3 gives you plus 4% damage to all enemies. Thought You Died, which you can get from the Lonesome Road DLC. It gives you plus 10% damage, plus 10 HP for every 100 karma points. Your karma is reset to neutral, and then you are immune to critical hits. Slayer, which you get at level 24 as long as you have 7 in agility and 90 unarmed. It increases the speed of all melee and unarmed attacks by 30%. And then Melee Hacker at rank 2 gives you plus 10 attack speed to melee weapons. So TM. And then TFC1. So let's go uh, check this weapon out on some bad guys. All right, so I'm here at Quarry Junction, and as always, I have God Mode on. That way I don't die when testing out the weapon. And then I have 100 in both melee and unarmed, and then all my special stats are at 10. All right, it looks like it has some sort of effect when you hit something. So that's interesting. I wonder what it looks like in third person. Alright, at least the effect is not too, like, blinding. It definitely has a sound. You can hear that thwack when you hit something with it. And the damage honestly doesn't seem to be too bad. Yeah, it's actually doing alright against these death claws here. Of course, it's going to do better against robots and power armor thingies. From the effect, of course. So, where's the alpha male? Let's see if this weapon has a unique VATS move. Oh, it does. 
pain frequency. But as always, we do the nine hit test on the alpha male. All right, that was four hits. It was kind of hard to see what the pain frequency move was. So let me, let me do that again. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Two hits, wow. That was really impressive. Where did you come from? So I'm going to kill everyone and then resurrect the mother. That way I can see how many hits it takes to kill her. Back away from the water, please. Four hits. Wow. And then I'm going to resurrect the mother once more. That way I can just see how many of the pain frequency attacks it takes. Two, wow. Wow, that's actually really impressive. All right, so now I'm going to go and test this weapon out on robots, because obviously we have to see the effect, so I will cut once more and be back. All right, so I'm here at the crashed vertebrate. Okay, that was four hits on that hardened sentry bot. Two hits on the gutsy. Another two hits. I don't know if it's damage over time or what, because I'm looking at some of them and their health does deplete afterwards. Like that guy, he died and I didn't hit him. That was one hit. So yeah, as you guys can see, it is doing really well against robots. So I'm going to cut one more time. Oh, hold on. I'm going to cut one more time and then we're going to be at the Brotherhood, you know, in their hidden valley. That way we can see how it does against people in power armor. All right, so I'm here in the bunker in Hidden Valley. How the hell did you get in here? Uh, yeah, I'm not going anywhere with you. Hey. One hit. Do turrets count? I guess not. Three hits. Another three hits. So yeah, there you go, guys. I think that was a pretty good demonstration of what the X2 antenna can do. Very, very powerful weapon, it looks like. Does well against death claws. Does extremely well against robots and power armor enemies. So yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed today's demonstration, Make sure to leave a like, a comment, share, and subscribe because it will help out my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then I hope to see you guys next time.